And as we gear up for tomorrow's fire danger, 911 in Sedgwick County is in the middle of upgrades. It is an overhaul that will see an investment of $5 million over the next year. KSN's Craig Andrus here to explain what the upgrades are and why it is happening. Craig? Yeah, when you call 911, your information goes into the CAD system, Computerized Aided Dispatch, aimed at getting help as fast as possible. A new CAD system goes online this month as call takers have moved to a backup site to add space and modernize the whole system. 911 knows where you're calling from because of the location ID in the CAD system. And to make response times faster and accurate, Sedgwick County is getting an upgrade. It's used as a record system for us. It's an investigatory tool that gets pulled over to the DA's office, um, to detectives. When people ask for their 911 records, it all comes out of CAD. The system is not the only thing being upgraded. Call takers are now at the backup site at Wichita State's Law Enforcement Training Center, while the current building gets new seating for the future. For more dispatch, call takers. So thankfully, we have the luxury in Sedgwick County, or really the honor in Sedgwick County, to have a backup site that is fully functioning. And we have, knowing that we're going to operate out of it for an extended period of time, we've added some more positions out there. While the computer-aided dispatch system, computers and software upgrade, Upgraded. Director of Emergency Comms Delora Forshee says they will ask to add more positions here in the next budget cycle to handle a growing county population. There's a lot of logistics in making sure that we have plans in place, you know, Murphy's Law, um, whatever can happen will happen, so we want to just make sure that 911 is always available to our community. Change to that backup location is underway. 911 calls moving along like they always do. The upgrades to computer systems and the facility expected to all be done by this summer. Craig Andrus, KSN News 3.